Hi, I'm Dr. Fiona Caldwell and I'm at home today answering questions from Pets Best Facebook page. The first question comes from Kaneen who writes, My older male Weimariner urinates inside our house almost every day when we're not home, most often on the back of the couch. I notice this doesn't happen when the other dog at home is gone. He's been cleared of any medical issues that might be causing the problem and you have a dog walker that comes out at noon to let the dogs out. Um, we've tried a belly band, animal communication, crate training, and nothing has worked. Anything else we can try to do to stop this behavior? Sounds like you've done a great job working it up. Definitely I applaud that you've gone to the veterinarian and made sure that it wasn't something silly like a urinary tract infection or something else really treatable. So because you've ruled out the medical issues, uh, that indicates this truly is a behavioral problem. You're definitely going to benefit from speaking with a behaviorist. So. Uh, definitely consider finding your local behaviorist to ask this question. But some other things that you might try at home. Um, so if he doesn't do it when the other dog's at doggy daycare, you could have the other dog at doggy daycare. That would be one thing that if, if you don't mind having him there, that would potentially solve the problem. You could also have the dog that's doing the urinating go to daycare too, um, be supervised all day. You might try continuing to work with the crating. Some dogs will be self-destructive and, and really should just not be crated uh, if they act really poorly to it. But if he's just a whiner or you know it's, it's sort of a mild aversion, you could certainly work with it to try to make it a more fun place, feed him in there, keep his toys in there, encourage him to go in when you're not actually gonna close the door and leave him there for the day. Um, those might be some things that you could try. You can also talk with your veterinarian about certain anxiety medications or behavioral medications that can sometimes help with inappropriate urination. The next question comes from Hannah who writes, We live near a restaurant and squirrels constantly drop food remnants in our yard. We found everything from bread bowls to pizza to hamburger buns and rolls. I try to ensure my dog doesn't eat any of the food items while she's outside, but she sometimes does. Can any of this food be harmful to her and is there any diseases she could catch from the squirrels? This sounds like a really tough problem to deal with. I do think that there is some possibility that some of this food could be harmful to your dog, especially if it's spoiled, if it was in their trash. Um, there probably aren't a lot of diseases that she's going to get from the squirrels just from them eating the food and then her eating the food that they dropped. Uh, squirrels can have mites and parasites and that type of thing, but um, she would have to be in pretty close contact to have that happen. I think you're probably going to be in a position where you're going to have to monitor the yard really pretty well to keep her from getting a hold of this food, or you might try talking to the restaurant and see if they can um, do a little bit better job of uh, disposing their garbage, maybe keeping it covered. If you guys have pet health questions for me, feel free to post them at facebook.com slash petsbestinsurance.